But first at 10, keeping her son's memory alive. It's been one year since a man was found beaten in his own driveway in Phoenix and later died. Three people arrested, but their trial delayed. The victim's mother speaking with our Ashley Holden in her fight for justice. In a lot of ways, it's just like yesterday. This week marks one year since Jan Kelly's son, Jake, was found beaten in his own driveway in Phoenix. The 49-year-old died in the hospital less than two weeks later. What keeps you staying here and fighting for him? I can't save him and I can't bring him back, but I can fight this. The medical examiner's report detailing the extent of injuries from skull fractures to scrapes and bruises. I made a, a, a vow to him in the hospital that I would find out who did it and do everything I could to um, make them pay for it. Jan staying in the valley to push for justice. Three people ultimately arrested in November. Jake's roommate Shannon Young and her husband Corey, both accused of hindering prosecution. Also, Angel Maluli. Yeah, Angel. He's been charged with second degree murder. ABC 15 was there as all three were in court back in April. Maluli's attorney alleging Corey was also involved in the murder, but Corey's attorney firing back. There is no motive to suggest that my client was involved in any way with the beating of Mr. Kelly. Jan has been concerned since the beginning that this may have been a hate crime. It could be because Jake was a gay man. ABC 15 has previously reported that Corey is a convicted felon. Sources and experts tell us at one point his social media publicly showed pictures of his chest covered in tattoos related to white supremacy. What what is your hope at the very end of all of this? That they all are punished for what they did to Jake. Corey and Shannon currently both out of custody. A trial date originally set for July, but was delayed to September. Jake's friends are in the midst of planning a memorial for next month as Jan plans to be back in court. I know that they will all be there uh, in September, so I will be there. I checked in with police who say this case was closed with those arrests. All three have pleaded not guilty. Jan says she's not going anywhere, even if there are more delays in court. Ashley Holden, ABC 15, Arizona.